I'm back on YouTube cause I learned how to upload, upload on my new day. You don't need to know, oh, oh. you don't even know. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Back here with another video from the Wild Child, capital T, T, hold up. <coughs> T H E double I L D C H I L D the wild child no space is capital T. Hey, that's lit. That's lit. I'm gonna start using that shit. But um, you know, I was saying, what's a good comeback like video? What's a good comeback video? And I was thinking, how about my coming out story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, I'm in a tight space, honestly, because I had nowhere else to post. I got my little desk right here. I got the little, uh, no, never mind, that's the light. That I can't, I can't mess up the lighting, because, you know, I'm black. Black is beautiful, though. Black don't crack either. Um, and then I got my bed. But, yeah, that's what's popping. And, yeah, I don't think, I don't like this. I think it should be, like, a little bit higher. I don't know. It's like, yeah, right there. But, yeah, that's basically what's happening. Um, so, I'm back on YouTube. I, I don't know if I should delete all my other videos from, like, a year ago and stuff. I don't honestly know, because I feel like I should delete them and start from a new page. Y'all comment down below and tell me what I should do, because that's what I think I'm going to do. But, yeah, I feel like I should. But, um, yeah, let's talk about my coming out. My coming out story. I don't even think most of my family knows, honestly. I honestly think that my mom knows, her boyfriend knows, my dad knows, my mom's grandma knows. Now, my aunt knows, my siblings know, my friends know, I just spit, <laughs> my friends know, but I don't think most of my family knows, and most of my family is subscribed to me on this channel, so, <laughs> but here we go, um, I was about in, I think, kind of going on to the seventh grade, yeah, it was going on to the seventh grade. It was like kind of in the mix of sixth grade and seventh grade. Because I had a friend in the sixth grade. Like, we just started being friends. Like, it's a female. And we just started being friends in the sixth grade. Like, I just walked up to her and said, hey, you want to be friends? And I, she subscribed to me, so she's going to know who I'm talking about. But I was like, hey, you want to be friends? And she was like, sure, why not? So we just started being friends from there. And, like, all of a sudden, each year, she kept getting cuter and cuter to me. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, she bad, bro. She real bad. She don't think she bad, but she bad. But, uh, yeah, and I was just like, why, why, why? And then, like, it kind of fell off where I was just like, yeah, nah, that ain't true. But then... Uh, I started, I got a boyfriend. Yep, said he had a boyfriend. What a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, I got a boyfriend. And I just, I just didn't roll with it like that. I didn't really like it. Oh, honestly, isn't it? Because, like, I really didn't like it. So I was just like, yeah, nah, I'm straight. And then, like, it's more to me about loyalty and more to me about I'm going to make you feel the type of way that I want to make you feel. I'm going to make you feel like you're the queen of the world type of way. And I didn't want to do that to a guy. So I was just like, you know, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to accept myself because I, did, I didn't believe it at first. Like at first in sixth grade, I was just like, hell no. That's not true. Seventh grade, it was just like, eh, yeah. And then my best friend. Oh, girl, my best friend. This is not the one I knew since 6th grade. This is a new chick, and she was my best friend, yo. And 
Dog, she my best friend, but she bad. Yo, she bad. Whoa, she bad as well. And we, and like I will never feel a way that oh that way about my best friends. I have two of them, but like stay bad. <laughs> and so yeah, I was just like yeah. And then one of my best friends is bisexual, and I was just like hey. What's you coming out story? She told me, and I was just like, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I came out in, like, this middle of seventh grade, and that's when I cut my hair, too. I was, I think I cut my hair, no, I cut my hair in the beginning of seventh grade. And then, like, I just kind of liked it, you know. I kept my hair cut. I never grew it out. Like, I'm growing the top out, but I never grew it out. And then, I'm trying not to burn. Hold on, hold on. Gotta get this light in the rack. Uh, come on. Be a doll, literally. I think I just messed it up. I hope I did it. I'm trying not to burn something. Because this is just a straight light bulb. You good? Okay. And I was just like, yeah, that's, that's basically how I feel about stuff and how I'll roll with stuff. And stuff like that. And I really didn't, never had a girlfriend. But I knew that I liked chicks. Because you know finding chicks in Piedmont is hard. Because all of them are white privileged. No offense. No offense. Really no offense. But like, I can't, you can't find a girl in Piedmont. And I'm like just staying single. Because I don't want to. I don't want to hurt nobody, I don't want to offend nobody, I don't want to make nobody feel awkward, but, <laughs> um, this is more like me telling you, this is more like a story time of me telling you how I told my 6th grade best friend till 10th grade that I liked her, and it's kind of like, it's kind of in the midst of, it's the midst of both, and like, the first person I told was my two best friends. Not the sixth grade one, but my two best friends. And I was like, hey, yeah, that's that's how I roll now. I don't, yeah. Like, it's just not me. And they was like, all right, cool, we accept. But they got some loud mouths, okay? The whole school will find out. And I was just like, at that time, I was like, I don't really care. Like, till, till this day, I don't really care who knows. Because I'm going to stay true to myself no matter what. If you disagree, I don't care. If you agree, good job. But if you disagree, I don't care. And I'm going to roll how I roll. I'm going to be happy how I want to be happy. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and separate yourself from my life. Goodbye. See you later. I don't want to talk to you no more. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Now let's do it closing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and that's how basically it happened. And then this coming October, last coming October, last October, it was my sixth, sixth grade best friend. Like, we knew each other for about five years now. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade. Like, five years. And this was my first time going to her house. Like, and I was nervous. Like, I was just like, oh snap. I'm going to her house. Oh snap. Okay, here it come. <sighs> like I'm freaking out. And I get to her house. No, we first we go paintball. <laughs> paintball. And I'm just sitting there paintballing, thinking about because I wanted to tell her and I'm thinking about how I'm gonna tell her. Like I'm deeply nervous. And she's one of the people that most people don't know in the school. And I'm one of the people that everybody know in the school. Like, you say my name to one person, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I know her. Yep. I'll be like, I can't I can't stay on a low base because I'm not that type of person. And so, yeah, it was just like, yeah. And y'all, most of y'all would say it's kind of hard coming out and stuff like that 
got to me. Some of y'all, it might be hard because some of y'all, because I know some of y'all have family situations where your family's really Christian and stuff like that. But <laughs> trust me, mine is too. My grandma does not celebrate holidays. Like, she doesn't. And you thought it would be hard for me to tell her. I told her last week. I was just like, hey, yo. I was on the phone with her. I was like, hey, yo, grandma. She was going to buy me buy me something. She ended up buying me this tripod. But I was, she was like, you want a purse? And I was like, hey, yo, grandma, look. I don't run like that. I like females and stuff like that. She goes, oh, okay. <laughs> but it was cool. Like, I still love my grandma no matter how she thinks of me. She's going to be my number one grandma. And she from Louisiana. And she know how to cook. Please. She going to be the number one grandma. Sorry, Grammy. But if you move down here and... Yeah, I can't really say nothing about your cooking. I'm just playing. <laughs> my grandma watches this. I'm just playing. It's content, okay? I got to make it funny. But yeah. That's basically... However they started. I don't even know if it's still recording. Hold up. Yeah, it's still recording. But, yeah, that's how it is. And I really liked her. Back to the paintball. I really liked her. Like, I don't know what it was about her. Like, till this day, I still like her. It was only last October. But, like, till this day, I still like her. Like, I try to tell her every day that she's beautiful. I try to give her a positive vibe every day that I see her. Me and her, before I told her, we was we was rock solid. Like we could tell anybody anything to each other. We have conversations and it'd be the funniest conversation. Cause we knew each other so long. But now it's just like it's not like that after I told her like she, I, I feel like she kind of distancing herself from me because of it. And I told her, don't change because of how I feel. I want you to stay the same. And no matter if she changes or not, no matter if I get a relationship or not, she's going to be my number one. I know that sounds like a creep, but I, I won't stop trying. Like, I'm that type of person that does not stop trying because of my ADHD. Like, I won't stop trying until I get the girl and it might sound like love and it probably is but I don't care <laughs> yeah I really don't but and then it's just kind of weird sometimes being around her because she's I feel like you when I'm be around her she's just like yeah I don't like if I tell you I like you I like you no matter what but don't change up because I said that it's a word it's how I feel. You don't feel the same way. You don't need a change to make me stop feeling the same way. Because no matter what you do, you're weird. That's what I like. You're weird. <laughs> no matter what. You are weird. You are in the weird book. You are in the book right next to me. You go to the weird book. You flip through the pages. Wait, you go to the weird book. You flip to the first page. And I have a whole page to myself. And then you flip to the next page. There's names. And I can name them all. But I'm not going to do that. Because I don't know if they want to be named on YouTube. But, yeah. That's, that's basically it. And I told her, and then she was, I was like, you deserve to have, you have the right to know, because you're my best friend. I have very best friends, but you have the right to know. And I had a great time at her house. We hit it all. Everybody had fun. And I still see her in school, and I just don't know what to do with myself when I'm around her. Like, I like, for real, like, y'all might call me a creep. Y'all might call me a stalker. I even might call me that myself. But this girl makes me run wild. Like, she, I go fucking crazy. I don't know why I go crazy, but she makes me go fucking crazy. And I just want her no matter the day, no matter the time, I want her to make, I want her to make, I want to make her feel good about herself. I want her to know that she's beautiful. Uh, she's not hot. She's not bad. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Like, oh, real. She's basically everything that I want. But I can't get because he's straight.
but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But that's that's what I want. She's funny. She's silly. She reads a lot. She really does. She loves books on her phone. I don't think she likes the flipping pages, but I don't know. She loves. I don't know if that'll give her away, but she loves to bowl. She really does. She got a little. She got a weird thumb. <laughs> and I like it. I like her first name. Not her nickname that everybody calls her. I love her first name. She hates it. I don't know why. But I love her first name. <laughs> but yeah. That's the story. Hope you like and subscribe. Because if you don't, I'll find the. I'll find. <laughs> I'll find. <the> <laughs> I'll find the time to come find you, and then I'ma tell you, I'ma shoot you with a blaster because YouTube doesn't want me to use those type of words, but I'ma shoot you with a blaster, blast, blast, mother trucker, but yeah, like and subscribe, um, I don't know what the description is, but go follow me on my Instagram, I don't have Snapchat no more because the school will be tripping and everybody will be leaving evidence. But go follow me on Instagram. I think it's like S Y D N E Y dot J O N E S dot smile. Or just look up S Y D N E Y dot Jones. But don't pick the first one with I have this certain shirt on. Don't pick that sh that me have my thing. I don't know how it is. Don't pick that one. That's my old one. Pick the new one. I need to get right. I'm funny, I think. I don't know. I try to be. I just just stop trying. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it runs. That's how it goes. That's how I go. That's how we know. That's how we run. That's how I know. That's how it go. That's how I run. Did I just say that? But yeah. Doses.